What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming here with the most insane epic hard mode so far and I say so far because we finished it this is our first finish and I think we were probably top 10 hopefully fingers crossed if not top 20 for sure and I'm more than excited to start helping you guys out on the live stream um, not only for this but for Trials of Osiris as well so keep that in mind the description below has the links to where you can connect with us for any help in Destiny including all the guides for the hard mode raid, including Gorgoroth and everything else. I said his name so wrong, Golgoroth. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I want to tell you guys that teamwork is even more so in the hard mode than normal, which was expected. And just keep positive, guys. Keep a positive mentality. Work together with, with your teammates. I'll tell you what we're doing here. Um, me and someone else have the duty to support the three platforms that need to jump on. Because keep in mind, the fourth platform never needs to get jumped onto. So we have a Titan up top that has Blessing of Light. And I like to call this a cheese, man. I seriously think that this is a cheese. I don't think that you should be allowed to do this. You guys are like, no, it's the game. It's the mechanics. That's fine. That's the way it is. I don't think you're supposed to be allowed to do this. I don't think Bungie really thought about this. And if they did, shout out to them. You're awesome, Bungie. Because you guys may not want to call it a cheese. That's I love cheese. Okay, so don't hate on me. Anyway, so the ogres are dead. And then you have these knights. You'll see a knight that I'm about to kill. Those knights go for the ogre bloods. They pretty much make the ogre bloods disappear so that you cannot damage oryx, okay? So you have to coordinate because there's just like there's four ogres, there's four knights. One knight for each of the bloods, okay? And the knights always spawn across. And you guys may be a little confused, but I'll show you guys in the next wave because we do this five times before we kill oryx. And we did mess up. That's what makes this so epic. We did mess up. We died. There was only three people alive at the end. It was nuts, man. Stay till the end. You guys are going to enjoy it. And make sure you guys share this video with friends so that they can learn. And so there's not too much of a learning curve and, you know, wasting time trying to get the mechanics down. You kind of have a good idea before you even go and attempt this or attempt this with a new team. So another thing we like to do is we want to get as many orbs as possible. We tried our best to just always stay stay grinding on the orbs um the death race is kind of dangerous because on each platform there's a knight or something that spawns and he's just destroying you like look at this there's so many times in this raid where i almost died and i ended up dying at the end which sucked but we'll get to that later um we're just happy to get this completed we're the only ones on our friends list that got this done and we can't wait to help you guys get the emblem and all the awesome loot drop as well. I got a light machine gun. I got um, 320 gauntlets because the light level drops are 320 up to 320 now. It's so cool. And another thing that uh, I was told by, it may be rumors or it may be confirmed, but if your light level is higher than 310, any exotic you, um, a any exotic engram that you open up, it'll be 310. So. Anyways, we're up here. We're going to do the same thing. I like to call it the Touch of Malice Cheese. You guys call it whatever you want. I love you no matter what. And we just take care of them. And what we're doing, we're just going one at a time to each ogre, making the people on the platform's job so much easier, helping them as much as we can. And everyone needs to feel very, very comfortable with their role. So that's what we're doing here. We're melting these ogres. On the fourth ogre, I like to use a tether. Uh, just because there's no one on that platform to support us and he needs to die. So as soon as he's dead, we start working on the two knights. The people up top, we assign them knight number three, which just spawned. No, that's knight number four. My apologies. We assign them knight number three and knight number four. Now that's knight number four that I just killed. And did you notice where the fourth ogre died? The knight spawned across, right? The platform across. So keep that in mind. That is for all the platforms. The ogres, uh, the ogre knights to come and get the ogre blood they spawn across okay it's really cool it's really awesome i like the mechanic that they added it does make it more difficult for those of you saying that this is not that much harder but i truly truly do like what bungie did with this now after he's here what we like to do here is if someone has a tether you want to make sure that you use that tether uh, before that light goes off so you can you know produce orbs for especially the titan the titan is the most important person to have orbs my whole team is running Touch of Malice's. Um, we were trying to run with Sword. I think that we changed back to the Malice because once you're tethered, the Malice just does wonders for everything, right? And here we thought, you know, in the normal mode, when you get two perfect runs, you usually just go get teleported. I don't know if we did something wrong. I don't think so. I, I looked at it. Maybe we needed to do a little bit more DPS on him. But 
this is the obviously the I like to call it the death race and now we're just running around um, keep in mind that the knights that spawn on the platforms they will do massive massive damage so you want to be very very careful with them and uh, we just that's that's it two waves done everyone get back to where they were uh, and if somebody were to go down which you'll see later um, we just adapt right I really wish you guys could hear the in-game volume but we were in party chat because of NAT issues and we really wish we had a better shot at uh, getting worlds first we had a guy that lagged out we had two people that lagged out during the raid um, they had to restart their whole connections I don't think it would have made a difference but it's just you know it kind of it brings your motivation and your momentum down so but we try to stay positive and it's just rinse and repeat guys once you get your rolls down you'll notice how it's just rinse and repeat um and i was really proud of myself and i'm proud of every single person on my team man we did so well uh, we stayed together we we stayed calm we stayed cool and we stayed positive positive. and i don't know how many times i'm gonna tell you that and you guys are like man stop saying that p word but man y'all need to stay positive seriously i've seen too many people get mad for no reason at their teammates or even if you do have a good reason man, it's a video game it's all about having fun at the end of the day right so boom we killed oryx oh sorry my bad we didn't kill him yet but he just got staggered uh come over here and do the countdown uh, three, two, one. Then we're here inside. You'll notice all four got detonated, and then you just run back once again, rinse and repeat. It's just, it's more waves. It's higher, you know, level light. It's more difficult, but it's so much fun because once you accomplish it, you get those sexy emblems, um, and no one else has them. So, can't wait to see more people on my friends list have that, and I can't wait to see you guys have that. And I really do hope that this video helps you guys. Um, so now we're on wave number four, uh, I believe, and um, yeah, sorry, no, we're on wave number three and we're about to get teleported in. And so now when you get teleported in, keep in mind this is hard mode, guys, you will not get revived, you can't. And I messed up on that uh, tether there because she teleported and dodged me, but it's okay. Uh, I don't even know if it's a she, but I like to say that all witches are she's are females i don't know why i said that um but be very careful here guys like one of our dudes just got flown and destroyed did you see him fly across my screen oh my god so this is where like dude fuck we haven't done it with five people yet what are we gonna do excuse me for my language um but i was really really like like oh what do we do and everyone was like should we wipe should we wipe i was like no no we gotta keep going we gotta keep going let's do this and so what we did was i took over a platform once again guys you have to adapt you have to know so i'm just trying to figure out this guy's role i'm like all right cool 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 i got it and then oryx is over there that's platform number one i'm platform number two they're up i'm up and now we have one less guy helping with ogres so i can't do that touch, touch of malice cheese i don't even know why i stuttered there but i'm really tired because the grind was real to even get ready for this raid i can't believe i was i, I was ready for this raid it was exciting um i love the destiny ground i'm sure uh, as well as all you guys that are doing it every single day but he died now look right there i noticed that as soon as my ogre dies i look across to shoot that knight then the fourth ogre died or sorry the third ogre died and then we look over right to my uh platform he dies now this was scary because the malice i have to reload it it's killing me i'm like please please i need that tether in the middle uh or whatever it is to you know keep me invincible and then we killed him and then just in time killed this and we turn around and he's opening his chest and i'm like yo let's go let's go let's go we're doing this with one player down we got this guys let's stay positive stay focused we got this and then we go over here everyone knows and we had to get that the guy who was upstairs to go and get the fourth mallet uh fourth blood right so he got the fourth blood and they it got detonated oh unfortunately the fourth blood was not detonated here uh, it was only three. That's where we messed up. I was wondering where we messed up. But then if you look at his health, I don't think one blood would have actually taken him out. And so, I mean, I, as you can tell, this is a live commentary, so I'm messing up here and there. But I'm pretty sure one more blood could not have come out. I think that was it. It was that even if we only got three, we would still have to do another wave. And I don't know why. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's because we're not doing DPS on him. Um, but I'm sure as the days go on, people will uh figure out you know more mechanics uh, in this hard mode raid because remember this is just this is like this was a world's first attempt and we didn't get it but we got we got pretty close so it was exciting um and now all it is we're gonna get teleported in and we're just gonna kill the witch inside i almost died again here i'm just killing 
this witch. Remember it when she slams in the middle, and if you tether her, she will not move. She'll not move. And look at that sexy light machine gun. It's the new light machine gun. All the hard mode weapon drops drop in a dark, dark color, which is super cool. And uh, I just had to be very careful in here because your health doesn't regen in here. And boom, the witch died. We get teleported out. I tried to use a three of coins there too, and I don't think it worked, but oh well. And then we're on the last wave, guys. That's it. We got five people up. We just got to do one more time. So we send the Titan upstairs. He was a 311. He was our highest light as well. So that's another reason why we sent him there. And I'm like, okay, I got to figure out this guy's role. The person who died, we had to figure out his role again. So I figured it out. They, oh, our dudes almost messed up. They thought it was um, L2 because it was the left side, the second platform. But it was really L1. And then they figured it out just in time. I got up and the third platform got up. Man, it was exciting. This was exciting. So ogres are up. I'm on the side where there's no help to my right. So I got to kill this ogre. Then I got to look across and then kill the other ogre as well. So I'm, man, I'm feeling more pressured than I've ever felt in any raid. And look at this, I'm almost dying. I had to use my invisibility and you'll, you'll see how I, that effed me up later. But I had to just do my best to hold, you know, the, to take off some of that extra pressure we got from our teammate dying. And this is just to show you guys how crucial it is for everyone to stay alive during hard mode. So we're dead. I'm trying to figure out. He's about to open up. Boom. He's going to get um, staggered. And then now everyone has to run back to their orb. And we had Kyle, uh, which was our Titan, run to that fourth light. And we all got it. Now here's, here is where I go invisible. Unfortunately, I couldn't go invisible. So I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh, okay, I gotta get back, I gotta get back. And oh, I didn't make it in time. But I knew that we got the four bloods and we were good. All we need is our three people to go up there. Now we're freaking out right now. Everybody is going nuts. We're like, okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. You guys go. And look at this, I died on purpose. I'm gonna say you, I'm gonna tell you guys I died on purpose just because of that beautiful view. Look at this. It's like I was filming a movie. Okay, obviously I didn't die on purpose, but hey, it was so much fun. We killed him. We were so hyped. It was it was awesome. It, thank God it didn't take as long as normal mode, um, even though I kind of wish it did, but it was still so much fun. And boom, guys, it's done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this video helped you guys. I really hope my commentary made sense. Keep in mind that in future videos for everything... Oh, and look at the gauntlets. 320 gauntlets, man. Let's go. And everything that this raid has... For you guys in terms of gold roth the new mechanics uh the war priest new mechanics um any new easter eggs glitches cheeses whatever you can imagine they will be on this channel so please join that family by hitting that subscribe button beatbox it and if you guys can please hit a big thumbs up on that like button please please smack that shit because it helps a lot it helps this channel grow and i love you guys i'll see you in the live stream check the description below and stay tuned for updated content and so much more coming your way my friends peace out guardians i love you all stay blessed and good luck